Hi, I'm Jim Edwards, President of OptiPort, a national alliance of multi-office or regional eye care providers. If you have just a couple minutes, I'd like to recap some of our highlights from our latest best practices conference. Highlights that hopefully will spark some ideas for growth at your own practice. So what if your marketing was so helpful that people would pay for it? Well, Daniel Lemon, a formal Google exec, was our keynote speaker on a marketing topic at our latest Spark conference. And Lemon cited surveys that said the majority of consumers these days distrust the traditional marketing hype. And according to Lemon, a proven path to establish trust amongst the consumer base follows these three items. One, provide helpful self-service information. Two, develop complete or radical transparency of that information. And three, have real-time relevant uh, information for your consumer base. So how do you apply this within your eye care practice? Well, Every member at our Spark Conference, every attendee, got a free copy of this utility book. And secondly, if you are a member of OptiPort, you know we spent some time discussing this amongst our peers and how we can implement this within our eye care practices. And you also know that there are discussion forums on our member-only website through the LinkedIn group forum where you can continue that discussion today. In addition to our keynote speaker, much of our conferences involves member-led breakout sessions where we talk about peer-to-peer -peer best practices on key relevant topics. And one of those topics was led by Henry Ford Optimize and focusing on how they optimize outreach, eye care outreach within their community. Henry Ford walked through a process by which they have made outreach an ingrained part of their culture uh, over about a 20-year period. And they started with the basic, simple, here's what we expect from every office manager on a weekly basis to perform outreach to your local businesses within the area. Then they talked through their experience of how they layered more and more and more on an outreach system that seemed to work extremely well to allow them to offer additional services to their local businesses. Services such as eye care education, offerings about their services, uh, insurance assistance, emergency service assistance, uh, pediatric vision screening to local eye care businesses, uh, I'm sorry, local businesses and also eye care offerings to, to schools, and uh, more. And so it was a really good example of how you can today take a traditional marketing and a connection between your community service and your local store make that part of someone's job design, and then really ingrain that as part of your culture, which has become one of the number one ways they drive uh, patients new and existing back into their practices without taking additional resources outside of their offices. Very powerful reminder that outreach can be one of the best ways we work to ingrain ourselves in that local eye care community. So the impending ICD-9 to ICD-10 changeover is a big anxiety for all of us these days. And Dr. John Rupakis came in and talked to our group about all the need-to-know information related to these changes with ICD-10, ICD and then also a 10-step guide on what are the most important things you need to do at your eye care practice to be best prepared for changeover to ICD-10. Once again, additional information will be available from that for our members on our member-only website, including the presentation from Dr. Rapakis. So next up, Dennis Barnes, president of KBM Group's Health Services Division, came up and spoke about the importance of a balanced marketing approach. Dennis's main message was that you need to include in any direct marketing campaign traditional local and community uh, advertising or marketing digital marketing and social media, and then also your traditional direct marketing or direct mail marketing in a balanced manner to have the most effective marketing within your, your uh, eye care regional space. Dennis talked through that balanced approach and then emphasized the most important aspect was to have a measurable tracking system so that whatever marketing combination or balanced approach you use, you can learn and say, this is actually working. This campaign 
A is working much better than campaign B if you actually track this information. Next, we rolled out OptiPort's new marketing services programs. And those programs include providing um, recall uh, services to our members, providing new patient acquisition uh, services to our members, and most importantly, providing the analytics on the back end so that we can all measure what the most effective campaigns are across all of our different markets and learn from one another to determine what the right frequency, offer, and message is to drive back in more patients into our offices via eye exam recall, and then also to try and target new patients in particular areas that we want to target within our marketplace. Very exciting new stuff that we rolled out to have some analytics and learning, and over time we believe that's going to be a very effective learning and analytics tool for all of our members. So just as exciting on the contact lens front is a new feature on the CLX system called My CL Reorder. And this feature allows you to actually perform contact lens recall. In other words, send an email or a text to a patient three months after they've ordered a three-month supply of contact lenses and allow them to automatically uh, order that uh, product and allow it to be shipped directly to their office or their home. A nice new feature in the CLX system related to trying to provide better marketing services to our OptiPort members. So when it comes to optimizing your frame board, how well do your buyers talk to your insurance billers? With a higher penetration of managed vision care, what we actually choose to put on our frame boards can have a dramatic effect on our profitability when we take into account how the insurance plans actually reimburse those frames. So one of our members, Rose and I care, led a uh, breakout discussion on effective strategies that you can employ to actually optimize frame board selection with the uh, reimbursement of managed vision care by plan in mind. Daniel Lemon, our keynote speaker, then came back to lead a breakout discussion on customer loyalty programs, specifically implementing programs that are easy to administer and keep loyal customers coming back and hopefully even driving in friends and family. So as you can tell, we cover a lot of ground at these meetings and spark a lot of ideas and action items to take forth and go home. And that's why at every meeting we end with our lightning round, which is an opportunity for our members to get together and either discuss what the greatest takeaways were from the day and ideas they're going to take back and implement, or actually set a follow-up plan or a connection with someone else if they have an idea but want to follow up and talk more about it with one of their peers within our OptiPort community. Then later that evening we had an OptiPort only reception uh, and at this uh, event we actually did it at the WPP, a global advertising headquarters uh, overlooking Central Park. It was a great time for us to get together with all of our members and also supplier partners, interact a little bit, have a cocktail and have fun overlooking Central Park. At this particular meeting we had a nice cool addition where we all got to tour what was called a brand snap room, which is a room where we all went in and got to see social media activity all around the world on key items such as eye exams, eye care, glasses, and who was actually or who was interacting on what social media platform at that particular real time across the globe. Pretty cool stuff. So if you're an OptiPort member and want to find out more or have any of the information related to this meeting, you can go onto our members only website where you'll find all of these uh, topics and presentations that you can have access to as an OptiPort member. If you're not a member or interested in finding out more, please visit us at www.optiport.com or call us and we'd love to talk to you more about how we can help build your eye care practice. Thanks so much for listening.